This is Brad at Attitude RC. I was using one of my flight sims and every time I had to reset my flight position or after I crashed I had to hit the space bar and this was starting to bug me because I was playing wirelessly and that means I had to walk from where I was to hit the space bar to reset everything. I have my laptop plugged in the TV. So here is how I set up my Horus X12S, but you can do it pretty much with any transmitter to reset your position with a switch. And what I did was I set up my inputs just like you would for any simulator. Then I set up my mixes and you can see I named one of them RST and I put that on channel eight. Mixes are the same. Everything else is just really basic. Um, there's nothing crazy added to this. It's just the very basic setup you need to get your um, simulator running. You open up your game controller uh, settings in your in Windows, go to properties, and you flip the switch that you mark for reset. In this case, it's my SH switch or my momentary trainer switch. And you see fives lighting up when I activate it. Four is deactivated, five is activated. Then what you do is you open up the actually magic part to this it's a program called joy to key and you get that at joy key.net it's free to download free to use for a demo period I'm not sure what the demo period is and then to purchase it I believe it's seven dollars so it's not like it's a crazy um, crazy purchase price so you download it from here and then you open that up and what it'll do is it'll open up to this screen and you find the button that you'd mapped, which we said it was button five. So button five, when I switch it, it's activated. And we go to button five and we set it simply by hitting the key you want. So you click in that first box, hit the space bar. And if you have more channels available to your simulator, you can use more channels. I have eight available, I believe. So I'm using the eighth channel and you just hit the space bar and it programs it. You hit okay. Then I usually save the profile, saved. And you can see I'm only using one key, just the space, just to reset it. Then you minimize that you can close out all of this. Okay, okay, okay. And now we have to test it. Now you open your flight sim and here's one of my helis. And now let's see if our reset works. And position reset. And all I did was our temporary switch, SH. and reset and that's all there is to it and now you have a reset switch built into your radio this is brad at attitude rc thank you very much